Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going plant shopping and I'm also going thrifting at Goodwill. Now I'm planning to hit up Pike's Nursery in Valentine. Haven't been there in forever. Also Grow Charlotte just expanded a whole back area to its store and it looks like she's gotten in some rare and uncommon plants as well. Excited to check out to see what they have there. And then I'm going to a couple Goodwills. I'm in need of some planters and baskets and that kind of thing. Maybe some shelves. We'll see what we can find. Um, but I usually have really good luck at, at Goodwill well um, and their prices are amazing great plant stuff it's you know it's just always a surprise what I find there so if you're new to my channel welcome my name is Ashley and you've guessed it this channel is all about house plants as you can see I'm obsessed I'm a crazy plant person so if that brings a smile to your face uh, make sure you subscribe so that my episodes will show up in your newsfeed I'm also on Instagram um, if you want to give me a follow on there now a big thank you to Sunday for sponsoring this video does your lawn look lackluster where it has bald patches and need rejuvenating or are you like me where you are a lawn care novice and you're looking for help in caring for your lawn. Sunday can help. I know they've helped me. Sunday is your one-stop shop for lawn care. Now of course I love that Sunday lawns are for people, pets, and the planet. They have been helping me cultivate rich living soil for a healthy lawn that's more self-sustaining. Our new house has a much bigger lawn than our old house and Sunday has really helped me out. It was super easy to get set up. All I had to do was fill out a free lawn analysis and move forward based on their recommendations. And if you want a more refined suggestion, you can send a soil sample to one of Sunday's labs. I really liked that I didn't have to call an external service and that I could just apply the products to my lawn myself. All I had to do was attach the nutrient pouch to the hose and I'm good to go. As a planty person, I really like knowing what ingredients are in the products I use and I really like that with Sunday, they're made up of easy to understand ingredients like iron and molasses and seaweed and soy protein. So to get started like I did, take your free lawn care analysis today and get started with $20 off your lawn care kit with Sunday by clicking the link below. Again, click the link below to get started with $20 off your lawn care kit with Sunday. All right, guys, I'm so ready to do some plant shopping and thrifting. Let's go. new area back there I cannot wait to explore um, but first I kind of just want to do a little bit of shopping around see what we have going on looks like we have some Hoyas here Puba Calyx $28 so cute I love these leaves gorgeous Hoya Macrophylla $42 love the variegation on those leaves Look at this gorgeous orchid cactus. So healthy and beautiful. Looks like some crimsons up there. Princess and queen. And down here we have some ZZs. Looks like a little raven. Whale fin, a variegated whale fin. Um, this one's 110. Beautiful aglionema. Another gorgeous Sansevieria here. Sayuri, it's 26. They always have so many, um, this shop's so great because they have all sorts of other cool plant-related things and um, they have pots and I always, I always like to see. Oh my gosh, look at that, that's so neat. What else they have going on? Salve, some candles. Ponytail palm, Xanadu, looks like a ficus altisma or something similar. I saw some really exciting stuff in here, but it's a bit crowded, so I'm gonna go in here and do some exploring. Look at those cute little baskets. Here we have ficus umbrellata, and I'll go back to that other area. Oh look, burl marks, so beautiful. We have some ferns, some more candles, exotica up there, huge golden pothos. So cute. Looks like a little uh, variegated Kentiana or wet Wyetii 42. Look at this Adansonii, so beautiful. Monstera deliciosa. Some more ficus umbrellata, burl marks over here. What are you? Are you a male? Oh, you're, they have a male eye here, a nice size one. And it is, 
It is 136. This is such a cool plant. That's a that's actually a, a reasonable reasonable rate on that as well for such a huge plant, new growth there. That's exciting. If anyone's been looking for a male eye. Then we have Philodendron Gigantium, a nice huge, <laughs> this is a, look at that huge plant. 62. So there's like little hidden treasures in here. I love it. Little Hoyas over here. Looks like an Australis Lisa. Yes, 42. Macrophylla. This looks like maybe um, a small Goldie Eye. So pretty. This looks like an Australian tree fern. Australian tree fern, yes, $22. Up here we have some lipstick plants, Brazil, Marantas. Plant daddy glasses, plant mama mug, dog mom. I really love their little gifts here. Oh, cool, Plantopedia. Wow, that looks like a nice book. No, look at it. They have some beautiful Zebu Blues, 46. <gasps> Look at this gorgeous philodendron. <sighs> philodendron Revolutions, 160. Look how big it is. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful leaves. Here we have a Philodendron Lacerum. Look how gorgeous. Some nice aerial roots. Jungle Boogie here, Ficuses, we have Audrey. Um, Burgundy, maybe a Ruby there or a Tineke. Triangularis. String of Hearts. Oh, look at this, this is interesting. Hoya. Pubera 36. It's a nice trail happening. I love these leaves, they're so delicate. First, I thought it might be a Deschidia. They're a little bit fuzzy. What a cool Hoya, I haven't seen that one before. Another Hoya here. This one's neat. Syngonium, Photophyllum, Reverted Green Mix. Look at it, oh, how beautiful, huge. Begonias have been on my wish list for a while. My IKEA greenhouse cabinet is calling for one. Look at the beautiful um, little red dots and then the green leaf and a little, oh, I'm just obsessed with this. I'm so excited that they have some. I actually really like this planter they have it in. Beautiful. We have some more exciting stuff. Another Hoya Pivera, 36. Is this a Hoya Chelsea, Hoya Carnosa Chelsea Variegata? 
Sequoia Carnosa Green. Curtisii back there. Um, Peperomia Scandens Variegata. Oh look, Patchy Clotta here. 28. Hoya Australis. Hoya Australis Lisa, 48. Some Kentiana Variegata, 18. Then we have Decursiva, Raphidophora, 28. Some Cebu Blue. Mykins here, 18. Brazil. And Philodendron Mia, this one is 18. Peperomia, or Pilea Peperomioides. We have the, what are these, Flying Squid Alocasia? I forget the technical name of it. I don't wanna knock that over. <laughs> Um, Maharani, Alocasia Black Velvet, absolutely beautiful, my favorite Alocasias here. Peperomia Frost. Um, Fetonia. Pilea Friendship Plant. Exotica. Here we have a Monolena Primaflu. Flora 54. Wow, look at those leaves. What a cool plant. Dracaena circulosa. Syngonium. Some Goldii here. This one always tempts me. 48. 48 for that size is good. It's exciting. These are actually 32 guys, so what a fantastic, fantastic deal. There's a silver sword just hanging out here. Massive, beautiful, one of my favorite philodendrons. Just love the blue, silvery tint of the leaves. Um, and these are, you know, nice mature leaves. They have the, the little lobes <laughs> that you wanna see. Just, I almost missed it. 72, nice big plant, so beautiful. Here's a coconut orchid. What a cool plant. I've never seen one of these before. Evidentherium pedatum as well. So beautiful. Let me focus in a little bit. So gorgeous. Looks like loads of beautiful plants. Just gonna take a peek over here at the succulents. Take a look, see what we have going on. Um, some really cute ones. You know what, I've been kind of eyeing these types of succulents. I don't know what it is, but they're so, so, so fuzzy. Doesn't have a name, but look at it. Wow, look how vibrant that is, gorgeous. These, these are really neat. They have that interesting texture as well. Some anthurium here. Wow, look at this one. I don't think I've ever seen an anthurium like that. That has the pink and the white. 24. Isn't that beautiful? 
so lovely. Alocasia Lowrider, $20. Alocasia Boa, $19. Alocasia Boa is interesting because it has that like striped stem that's so cool. Some cacti here, $50 for large size ones and some large size succulents. And then over here, I think these are a string of watermelon. $16.99. Try to get it up close. Look at those. I just want to. Tiki tiki. Oh, give them a squeeze. These are really pretty too. I don't know if it will show up, but the, the stems are purple. So pretty. I think this is Rosal Ripsalis or Pencil Cactus. Ficus Ruby here. Diffenbachia, Ficus Umbrellata. They have the variegated, it's labeled Kentiana. Everyone's back and forth on if it's Wyetii or Kentiana. So beautiful though, look. And you get a huge pot of this and it's $20. Um, I picked one of these up at the Pikes in Matthews, not this location. Some nice size ficus Audrey here. They are 20. I'm always surprised like the leaves have a little bit of fuzzy texture to them, which I love. And we have um, some fiddles. Nice little peperomias here. Dracaena peperomia obtusifolia. Some more peperomias, watermelon pep over there. Little <laughs> ponytail palms. Look at this bromeliad, oh my goodness. I love the colors on that. Look at this flower. Hoya curtisii here, $10. And here we have the variegated one, also $10. Great, great find. Um. Not sure what these are. Looks like there's some variegation on there, maybe. I don't know. They look like they're just jade, but then some of them have little flecks of something that looks like Marble Queen. So, kind of hard to tell. Philodendron Chordatum Hetera. Ooh! Look at this! What's you? What are you labeled? Chordatum. So it's supposed to be just green, but look. Looks like Brazil. Let's see. Maybe a Brazil cutting got put in there. Well, that's interesting though. Eight ninety nine. I don't see any variegation anywhere else on it. So, looks like it is a, a Brazil cutting that got put in there. I don't see anything on all, any of the other ones. Ivy, different fern varieties, Fitonia over there. Oh, look! Looks like there's a couple Alocasia Black Velvets, one of my faves. I'm not really, um, I love Alocasia, but I struggle with them, but I love my Alocasia Black Velvet. It's massive. It just put out three flowers, crying out loud. <laughs> Tristina. Oh, what are you? Those don't look like Puba Calyx. Hmm. There's some splash. Maybe it is Puba Calyx. Let's see. Gracilis Hoya. <gasps> Woo! Wow, so it's hard to find Hoyas here in Charlotte. Oh, look. These are pretty splashy. Splash happening. Interesting. New growth there. $9.99. Woo! Don't mind if I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Philodendron Moonlight, $38. Look at those bright leaves. Oh my goodness. Cute little Xanadu here. Maybe an Imperial Red. How red that new growth is. Beautiful. Neon Pothos. Looks like a little bit of mutation there. So cute. Maybe I'll get lucky with a Monstera mutation. Seeing all these other ones in here today. Nope. Nope. Just regular stuff. Look at this Adansonii. What a lush goddess of a plant. <laughs> $40. She is so beautiful. Goodness me. I'm just gonna take a second to like admire, and I love these, um, the shape of these leaves. The narrow form is looking really nice. I like the wide form too. Look at all that in there. Just a jumble of healthy plant. Amazing. They have these ones on moth poles. 99, Raphidophora tetrasperma. Some cute calatheas. Hi. Golden pothos. And Marble Queen pothos. Calathea orbifolia. That's a surprise to see here. $20. Some more calatheas. Wow. What we got over here? Philodendron. Um, Prince of Orange, these are 30. I have these Sansevieria La Rubia here for 16, yes. And I don't think I've ever seen them before. They're just almost pure yellow on the inside and then they have the dark green on the outside. Um, it's unusual. Just want to point that out. They're really pretty. Just kind of seeing what else they have on the inside here. They have um, one of my favorite places to I don't to look at orchids is at Pikes. I seem seems like lately they have an interesting assortment, different than the ones I, I usually see out and about. Look at that. And these. They're all $30, and they're all from Hawaiian, here I'll show you. They're all from Hawaiian Orchid. Um, I actually have this one, I think it's called like a dancing, yellow dancer. Mine hasn't bloomed since I caught it. Um, let's see what other cool orchids I have. This one is different, really lovely. This one's stunning. So this is a good spot if you like orchids. I think it's unexpected that they have some of these uncommon ones. Oh look, they do have some vanilla orchids back there. Uh, you know, a lot of these aren't opened up yet, so I bet they're gonna be gorgeous. Look at these air plants. Huge in flowering, just to show you. <laughs> Massive. All right. I found the cutest little confetti syngonium in here one time and I didn't realize what a treasure I had. And I don't know what happened to it. But I always like to look and see if I can find the little begonias. Cute purple passion. Sometimes, sometimes it's surprising what you can find in, in these little sections, you know? Little terrarium plants, goldfish ones here, cute little syngonium, peperomia, strawberry begonias. Hmm. I don't see any confetti syngoniums. Boo! 
That's all right. I had to point out, look how cute these little creatures are. I'm all about it. Look at this little snail, little hedgehog. So sweet. Make a good plant shelf for somebody. Pretty cool. I always take a look in the furniture section to see if they have any wicker stuff. Um, I found some really amazing baskets that I've used for my plants, but they're usually in the furniture section, the big size ones. I think this is for CD cases, but it would actually work for house plants. $10 for both of those. It's actually one piece. Hmm. Looks like they have a lot of stuff. Let me see. That duck is so cute. There's a green pot. There's a pair of these. There's sign on the bottom and it says Italy. Oh my gosh, this teapot. Seymour Manning. <sighs> that would be really cute with the plants in it. Look at this guy with the hearts. Oh, this is cute. It reminds me of the Hansel and Gretel house with all the little candies on it. I mean, you could easily put a plant in there. I just can't tell if it's creepy or not. $3.99. Planter looking thing back there. Oh, they have some cute little dishes and stuff today as well. Nice bowls. Oh, hot chocolate thing down there. And then as always, they have the wafer baskets up top. Glassware. If I see anything interesting. I like to use this kind of stuff for propagations. And when it's clear, it's easier to see the roots of the plant propagating. Isn't that cute? I like it, but um, I prefer to have one that doesn't have holes on it so I can use it as a cover pot for bottom watering, but it is really cute with the hearts. Glassware. Oh my gosh, and sometimes these are cute little cover pots for plants as well. <laughs> That's cute. I'm back. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you guys what I found. This is the haul portion of the video. This is a huge haul. I got plants and planters and all sorts of cool stuff. I'm really excited to share them with you. I love my plant community because I can just show all the plants and I love sharing them. So, um, okay, let me jump into it. First, I'm gonna show the stuff that I got from Grow and then Pikes and then Goodwill. First up is this beautiful begonia amphio amphioxus, amphioxus. It's such a 
cool begonia. I've been eyeing this one for a long time. I saw like a couple of them at Cactus Club and I think that's the only place I've seen these for sale. Um, so when I saw that it was on Grow's Instagram page, I knew I had to rush over there and grab one. This one was 36. They are more of um, an uncommon type of begonia and they, I, this one's definitely gonna be living in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet. Um, it's gonna want a lot of humidity, a lot of moisture, and you know, not direct light. So I'll have it kind of under a little shaded area where I have my other uh, begonias and, and my little orchids and stuff. So there's so much to love about this plant. It's really cool how it has the green leaves, but then it has the red dots on there. And the shape of them alone is next level. Like the shape of these leaves are so, so interesting and cool. They're like long and kind of ruffled. And then it has, I love how in the center it has this little like red dot and then around the outsides of the leaves it has the red. It's just a beautiful, it's really beautiful plant. Now this is a large size one compared to the other ones that I've seen, which were smaller. I love the way the new growth looks. Like look at this little leaf and its perfection. Um, it's such a beautiful plant. So I will not be treating this one how I treat my normal plants where I just let them dry out. That will not be the case with this one. I, I will be, you know, not saturated, but making sure there's some moisture in the soil and definitely making sure it gets maximum humidity uh, because this plant is gonna really enjoy that. And I want it to have a happy life. So next up is a Hoya Chelsea Vergata, which I'm so excited about. Uh, I love Hoya Chelsea. It's one of my favorite, favorite Hoyas. And to find a variegated one is very exciting. And I found this one for $42. Hoya Chelsea Variegata. Hoya Chelsea's really great because they're kind of like heart-shaped heart ones. And then they have little like indentation. Hoya Chelsea is hard enough to find in the Charlotte area, let alone a variegated one. This is, I think, the first variegated Chelsea I've seen. So this is a non-variegated Chelsea, just so you can see. And then this is the variegated Chelsea. Now it looks very similar to a Hoya Crimson Queen, but, um, you know, it said Chelsea on there, and I do see that, like the leaves are definitely more Chelsea shaped. Um, but you do get, you know, irregularities in Chelsea, as you can see um, here, where some of them are, can be, you know, not exactly heart shaped with all the little, I don't know what you call them, little divots in there. So, yeah, I love it. Now, Hoyas, I, guys, I've been on a Hoya kick. It's like, one of the really fun things about being a plant collector and and my having a plant hobby is I you go through phases as to like what's speaking to you and right now like Hoyas are really speaking to me and I'm very excited to to find some of these Hoyas that I um to add to my collection and some of them have been blooming for me this year which has been amazing Hoya blooms are so cool and interesting they each one smells completely different than the other they're they're very aesthetically you know, they're beautiful and they're very easy to care for. I'm able to, you know, kind of let them dry out and then I give them water. So, uh, you know, they do enjoy sun. I find that the ones that I give a, a good amount of sun or light to, you know, have near grow light, they'll push forth a, a lot of new growth, which is always really exciting with plants. So this is a nice size one, you know, it's not just a cutting. So this is a philodendron goldie eye. This is the last one I got from Grow. I did get one from Pikes as well, but look how beautiful this one is. It's a nice size one. The more this leaf matures and, and you know, the more leaves it puts out, the more of these what, do you, what are these called? Petioles or lobes? I'm not sure. But the more of these it will put out. And this is so cute. Look, it even has some little like baby ones happening here and here. I love the shape of them. You know, it it feels like it's going to be a durable plant, which is awesome. Here are some of the um, young leaves. And they look, as you can see, completely different than these awesome ones. I love plants like that where it's so interesting to see what their leaves mature into, like completely different shape. Um, Mother Nature is just incredible. So as far as care, I'll probably have this one in like medium-ish light. I won't have it in super bright light. Uh, I find a lot of the philodendrons I have, they're not, you know, they don't love bright light, which is great actually because 
because who has unlimited bright light in their homes? Not me. But I won't let it dry out too much. I find philodendrons, you know, once they once they lose most of their moisture, they do enjoy getting a little bit of water again. So I was so excited to see these because they were like $32 and I'd never seen them for that good of a price. So I was really thrilled. So this is the plant that I got from Pikes. It was $10. It's a Hoya gracilis. Never seen one of these before. Just seen them today. Maybe they're new to coming into Charlotte. Really cool one. At first I thought it might be a pubic calyx uh, because it kind of has the leaf shape and it does have some of the the speckledness to it. It's a little bit of a different shape, so I, I do see that. I think it's an absolutely beautiful Hoya. I really liked how this one has a ton of different growth points in here. You know, it has new growth coming out. It, I really like the shape of the leaves. Um, I'm excited about this one. If it's anything like my Pupa Calyx, you know, it'll survive through anything. I'm finding that with most of my Hoyas, which is so nice. The easy care, awesome, cool plant, so excited about that one but i think this one is probably the <laughs> this is like the win of the day 8 10 12 14 plants i can fit on this thing i'm so excited and each one has its own little spot I mean, $10 this thing was. So next up are a few little funky planters that I got. I think I was in a funky mood today when I went shopping. So I got this little guy. I'm gonna use this one for my propagations. Um, you know, it's perfect for propagations. <laughs> you guys are gonna think I'm so weird. You know that by now. I just thought this was so cute. It's a teapot and it has little flowers all over it. And I can totally put a plant in there. <laughs> I really feel like I can go as funky as I want in my plant room. The rest of my house is pretty minimalist um, and lots of like nice neutral colors, but I like funky in my plant room. So I love this guy, isn't he so cute? I like the little spout and this, how this, these are like the leaves and then it has these beautiful purpley, and I think this is probably my favorite color. I love this like bluish purple. And, oh, and then in the middle, these little yellow things, they're hearts. It's so cute, I can't even. So this one was $4, worth every penny, thank you very much. Well, not here otherwise. I got, and then the last thing I got to go along with my funkiness is this cute little heart cover pot. I mean, it's not gonna do anything. It's just gonna be a good cover pot, but I couldn't say no to it. I just thought it was so cute and perfect for a plant. It kind of goes with my other little like, what would you call that? Trash-tastic? <laughs> what is the, the style I was doing today? I'm calling it funky, but I don't know what you'd call it. The other thing that I almost got came this close to, but I just couldn't bring myself to. It was a perfect like cover pot, but it had, it was the house that looked like Hansel and Gretel's house and it had candy all on the outside. I, it, it gave me a touch of creepy, so that's why I didn't get it, but I was like so tempted because it was so like funky and different. Look how cute they are. <laughs> I had such a great time shopping today, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe so my future episodes show up in your newsfeed, and give me a follow on Instagram. Big thank you again to Sunday for sponsoring this video. They have helped me out with my lawn so much because the lawn here is takes a lot more effort, and it's a lot bigger than our last house. So uh, I've included the link in my description if you guys wanna check them out and get $20 off your lawn care kit. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. I hope you enjoy this video. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.